Hello everyone, it's been a really long time since I have did my last book review and honestly I'm just so excited to be back. So today I am doing a book review on Asada, I'm an autobiography by Asada Shakur. Um, she was an activist with the Black Panthers. Um, and so if you haven't heard of her story, she was the Black Panther that um, escaped from prison and um, fled to Cuba. So the book starts out with um, Asada basically getting kind of like dragged out the car kind of sort of um, and shot up. She was like her arm was like hanging off. So basically, she was accused of killing a New Jersey state trooper. So the book starts out like with her going to the hospital. Um, and they, they was ruthless, like, like dead ass. She was basically talking about how they were like um, beating her ass, even with her arm damn near hanging off, like taking shifts, um, suffocating her, starving her, all types of just like crazy 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 things so um before she had the trial actually for the new jersey state trooper for the killing of the new jersey state trooper um she had to end up going to court for like crazy stuff like kidnapping robbing banks um anything just like so much crazy stuff which a lot of it she was not um found guilty on so especially like the the oddest stories were like the kidnappings and like the, the bank robbings where it was like the pictures were clear as day, not her. Like just be, or, or I'm sorry, the picture was her, but she was not the one to rob the bank. So it was just like, what the hell? Then it was, the, the whole story is just even more crazy because these were like the people who were trying to uplift the black community. So how do you have like a group of, people who are claiming to be one thing but are being accused of another and then for a lot of it they're going to trial and like they're winning <laughs> you know what I mean but if you try somebody on 50 things it's like well hey the odds are against you right and like the story just gets so crazy because like she ends up having a daughter while she's on trial oh, it, it. <laughs> y'all gets deep honestly and truly and when I think about it, like, honestly, I be asking myself, like, damn, could I have gone through with a lot of this stuff? Like, they was, they was getting fucked up, to say the least. I'm talking about starved in jail, um, beat up by correctional officers. Like, just like, did, like, shit that a lot of us would have probably offed ourselves for. These people really kept their strength and, like, never gave in never stop fighting for the cause never change their mind like I, man i don't even know if they make people like this no more to be honest but i wanted to read to you all on uh, one of my favorite parts in the book and it's the beginning it's the affirmations page and it says um i believe in living i believe in the spectrum of beta days and gamma people i believe in sunshine and windmills and waterfalls tricycles and rocking chairs and i believe that seeds grow into sprouts and sprouts grow into trees i believe in the magic of the hands and in the wisdom of the eyes i believe in rain and tears and in the blood of the trinity mm. i believe in life and i have seen the death parade march through the torso of the earth sculpting mud bodies in its path i have seen the destruction of the daylight and seen bloodthirsty mag maggots prayed to and saluted I have seen the kind become the blind and the blind become the bind in one easy lesson. I have walked on cut glass. I have eaten crow and blunder bread and breathed the stench of indifference. I have been locked by the lawless, handcuffed by the haters, gagged by the greedy. And if I know anything at all, it's that a wall is just a wall and nothing more at all. It can be broken down. I believe in the living. I believe in birth. I believe in the sweat of love and in the fire of truth. And I believe that a lost ship spared by, by a tired seasick sailor can still be guided to port. Um, like, damn. First of all, she's a hell of a writer at that. <laughs> but, um, honestly, like, I think the book 
the book just shows you that no matter what, it's going to be a brighter day. Because in the end, she does um, end up, like I said, escaping and um, becoming um, a fugitive. And um, I'm sorry, she becomes a political asylum. Let's be very correct. She um, does end up going to Cuba and becoming a political asylum, uh, which basically means that they accept her to come there. They will not turn her into the United States, um, even though she's been on the most wanted list since like 2013. So her story is just very interesting um, when, you, when you're talking about like justice, you know what I mean? Um, but definitely think that you guys should check this out. I actually got this from a black owned bookstore. So um, just passing the torch. Um, if you can, you know, instead of ordering it from Amazon, just try to order it like maybe from your local um, black owned bookstore. Um, again, if you've enjoyed, don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, thank you all for watching me tonight and hopefully I'll see you soon. Um.